Welcome to KPK Gemstones Club on YouTube. Shungite is a rare black stone made of up to 99% carbon. It's mainly found in Shunga, a village in Karelia, Russia. The stone has a unique composition. It contains fullerenes, or 3D spherical molecules made of 60 carbon atoms. These molecules are hollow and sometimes called buckyballs. Along with fullerenes, shungite consists of nearly all the minerals on the periodic table. The origin of shungite is a mystery. Typically, materials made of carbon come from decayed organic substances like old forests. But the stone is thought to be at least 2 billion years old. This is before organic life existed on the planet. Some theories of shungite's origins include. A large meteorite collided into Earth and deposited shungite into the ground. Shungite formed due to microorganisms in nearby water. The composition of organic matter in sedimentary rocks changed over time. Although scientists are unsure of how shungite was formed or where it came from, they attribute the stone's potential benefits to its fullerene content. Fullerenes, which are found in shungite, are a type of carbon nanostructure CNS. CNSs are different physical forms of carbon. According to a 2017 review of Studies Trusted Source, CNSs can destroy harmful pathogens. They reportedly work by damaging the cell walls of bacteria and viruses. Additionally, when CNSs interact with microbes, the microbes lose electrons and die. However, it's unclear what this means for human disease. More studies are needed to understand how the fullerenes in shungite can specifically affect pathogens. Since ancient times, shungite has been used to purify water. This is due to its alleged activity against bacteria and viruses. A 2018 study states that shungite can filter water by removing contaminants and organic substances like pesticides. A 2017 study also found that carbon from shungite can remove radioactive compounds from water. According to a 2017 animal study trusted source, shungite has antioxidant properties. Researchers exposed mice to ultraviolet B radiation for two days. This caused skin damage and oxidative stress in the mice's skin. Oxidative stress is caused by reactive oxygen species, or molecules that damage healthy cells. Then, for seven days, the researchers applied a shungite solution to the mice's damaged skin. This decreased rose production and increased the activity of antioxidant enzymes. These results may seem promising, but it's important to remember that the study was only done in mice. Additional research is needed to understand shungite's antioxidant potential for humans. Theoretically, it's believed that if shungite has antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, it could help these conditions. However, research is lacking in this area, and there's currently no clinical evidence to support the theory that shungite-infused water can help treat these conditions. As such, it's safer to follow standard medical treatment protocols instead. Users of Shungite say the stone has the ability to shield you from EMF emissions. Many people refer to an old 2003 study trusted source, where Shungite reportedly protected rats against electromagnetic irradiation. Yet, the study is outdated and only involves animals. This phenomenon has some support theoretically, 
but more research is needed to see if there's any benefit for humans.